After a much needed and well deserved short break, Devon Larratt is back on YouTube with the most awaited video, a video about his post match analysis after East versus West 12. He is the best arm wrestler that I have ever faced in my career. He is the best arm wrestler that I believe there's been in the history. So Devon's thoughts after the match didn't really change that much compared to 2022. He basically said almost the same words that Levan is the mountain and he is almost unbeatable as of now. But one thing did change. Last time he never said that he's going to drop a weight category, but this time he's so sure about that. I am never going to stop arm wrestling. I still have goals in arm wrestling. The super heavyweight division is not one of them. At first, this can be a little depressing news for us arm wrestling fans, but I believe promoters like Engin Terzi and Don Idris will for sure talk Devon out of this idea to stay in the lower weight categories. And why not? It's the right thing to do because Devon, even when he is 50, will still probably be top three in the world. That's simply insane, and that too when he's weighing only 120 kilos. Because yes, Armes Gasparini is coming back strong. Alex Cordeccia will be a challenge. and Gennady Kwikwinya is always dangerous but who else he is still at worst going to be top 5 in the world and the main thing is it's not an either or situation for devon he will always have a choice if there was a situation where he can compete in only one weight category then i think being the number one guy in 115 will sound better than the number 2 or number 3 or number 4 guy in the world overall this could be a choice but it isn't because devon can compete in both categories and maybe even three categories at the same time also devon talked about his collaboration which is going to happen soon with brian shaw devon seems to be really excited about brian shaw's potential and what that potential and brian's popularity can do for the growth of arm wrestling so we all will be looking forward to that and now the main topic the king's move topic the infamous move In 2023, the King's Move hype almost died, and it became the year of flop pressers. Flop press was always thriving above King's Move. Same thing continued this year too. Just imagine Monster Michael Todd and Devon Larratt being on the same card, and nobody talked about the King's Move. Michael won his match because of a flop press and not with the help of King's Move. Levan's flop press defeated Devon's King's Move. But it seems like Devon has brought the attention one more time towards the infamous King's Move. While discussing the first round against Levan, when Devon was fouled out for having his shoulder below the table in a losing position, Devon basically insinuated that this rule should be changed and the King's Mover should be allowed to go under the table in any and every position. And now we will talk about some of the highlights from when Devon discussed this topic. Devon made it absolutely clear that this rule exists because the shoulder in a downwards position in a neutral or losing position well it used to be only losing position early on but few years ago the rule was changed devon said that this rule is in existence only because it is considered a dangerous position for the athlete who is executing that move not because it gives us some kind of unfair advantage which is not true so the rule is to protect the athlete and at an elite level the responsibility should be to protect yourselves and it should not be the referee's responsibility to protect the arm wrestlers that's why this rule needs to go Devon did mention clearly that he is not saying by any means that this should be mandatory everywhere but many leagues are already doing that and it would be really awesome if east versus west and king of the table also implemented that he further said that king's move is not some kind of unbeatable move we have seen it getting beaten before as well and it raises the overall level of the sport so finally after about 4 years of constant complaints since the devon versus michael todd match in 2018 we got the referees to be strict about this under the table kings move thing but now it seems as if devon wants that rule to be completely gone do you agree with this do you think it is in fact better for the sport if the referees have less power over this issue and the athletes dictate how the match goes please mention in the comments like the video and subscribe